going on guys Victor here I'm gonna show you how to flay up this beautiful big red snapper right here using the 10 inch deck stream stiff blade comes with a little sheath right here the unique thing about this knife is it actually has a dual edge you guys see on this side we have our precision edge for your standard flays your precision work and on the other side you have a serrated edge which is perfect to get through scales through bones or any kind of rough surface on the fish so what I'm gonna do here this is a red snapper. You guys can hear that. They got real thick, thick scales. So I'm gonna use this serrated side to make my first cut and get through those scales right behind the head, coming all the way up here. Okay, I'm gonna flip it and I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna use that serrated side to get through all these scales along the outside edge of my red snapper. Now, the reason this knife shines is because scales really wear down on a knife's blade. So I can save my precision work for this side of the blade where it's not gonna get as dull. So I'm gonna rest my knife right here by the tail and work my way up along this red snapper's spine, freeing up that meat. That gorgeous, gorgeous white meat. And I'll do this until I get to the backbone, which is the uh, bone that runs right here along the center of the fish, okay? Now, once I do that, I'm gonna take this portion of the snapper, this shoulder piece, I'm gonna lift up. And there's gonna be a set of pin bones that attach that snapper's fillet to the rib cage, which is right about here, right along the center of the fish. You gotta take your knife and break through it. You gotta apply a little bit of pressure. And what I see people struggling with is they try to go through that rib cage, tilt your knife up slightly, and break through those pin bones like I did. Okay, now that we're through those pin bones, I'm gonna go over the rib cage right here, down on the other side of the backbone, along the length of the fillet, and continue to make these sweeps just down along that snapper's rib cage. One hand right here on the fillet firmly, not trying to fold it over. Okay, and just like that. So there you guys see, there's one side of your snapper this is that real big struggle area with snapper and groupers, those pin bones you gotta break through. Okay, we're gonna flip our snapper over. I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna use this serrated side, start right here by the belly, and you can hear how thick those scales are. Now that I've done that, I'm gonna continue to use this serrated side once again and free up that meat right on the outside edge. Of our red snapper. One hand on the fillet again, continue to free up that meat. I'm going to do this until I get to the backbone once again. Okay, we're going to have to break through the pin bones again, right here, kind of tilt your knife up break through those pin bones. Now that I've broken through those pin bones, I'm gonna continue on that snapper's rib cage, point my tip of my knife down on the other side of the backbone. One last final tail cut right here. And there you go. Beautiful piece of red snapper once again. There you go, you see all that light shining through, knowing we did a good job and left nothing on the snapper spine. One thing I really like about this knife is that 10 inches really lets you to go from side to side of the fillet and makes it perfect for skinning as well. Keeping in mind, we do have another edge to our blade, so keep your fingers away from that. I'll trail with my left hand and I'll push my blade down along the edge of the skin and skin the snapper out. Last and final thing for your snapper fillet is to remove these pin bones right here. They run about halfway down the length of the fish. You go on one side of them, go on the other side of them right here, lift up, and you can cut these out. And that's all there is to it. Beautiful big red snapper fillet. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys are interested in the knife, this is the Dextreme 10 inch stiff blade. It's got the serrated edge on this side, precision edge on this side, 
dual blade. Check it out. Link to the description box below. Till the next one.